Lucy? What is this? What is... <gasps> oh! You have to be so far away, really? Oh! What? That's how it works? It's like a Spider-Man! Oh! I like it! <laughs> Sorry. Alright, where am I? Oh, that's Nasrin. This is... Um... Yes. Excuse me, guys. Oh! Maybe I oh, sorry! <laughs> I accidentally killed my Lumin! I was sneezing! Sorry, Lumin! No, no, you should have wrestled me to sneeze! <laughs> Hello, Tanari! Oh, it's you two. I was just about to go look for you. What's up? Huh? Tanari! What are you doing here? Where's Kale? I came to check on Kale's condition. To put it simply, she's not well. Aww. Uh, what happened sick? to her? How could she be. Oh, wait a minute. Could it be because of what Paimon did yesterday? Paimon. No, what did no you need do? To worry. <laughs> Something as small as you could never harm her. <laughs> this sickness is something that Kale Oh my god, you gotta time. be chill, bro. Kale has been more excited than usual since you two arrived. Ever since she was a child, she's been afflicted with a disease called Elazar. Elazar? Yes. It is characterized by dark and hardened scales that form on the body. At first, ah. the afflicted may only feel mild numbness on the affected area of the skin. However, as the disease progresses, one may begin feeling fatigued and even experience peripheral paresthesia. In its okay. final stages, the disease strips a person of the ability to control their own body, and they effectively become completely immobile. So when Kale seemed to be acting a little clumsy earlier, it was uh, because... Correct. I that would see. be the effects of Elazar, which is precisely That's why, why she keeps I do dropping not want things. her carrying or holding anything. Lest she ends up hurting herself. As the appearances of withering zones have started to increase, Kale's case of Elazar has also become uh, more serious. Huh? I, well, why is that? I feel bad for Kale. I'm still not sure she of the has exact a reason. A deadly However, disease. I've received word from acquaintances at the academia that similar cases are being reported for patients with other conditions. Ermansol is a tree located deep beneath the surface. Although it isn't like any tree we know in a biological sense, you can basically think of it as a large tree that grows downwards rather than upwards. Huh? Upside I'm sure down? Heard of ley lines, right? Yes. They're like the roots of Ermansol, spreading and extending from a massive oh, cavern deep really? underground all the way up to the surface. The Dendro Archon is known as the God of Wisdom because her consciousness is directly connected to it. It is hmm. also said that the Dendro Archon's power is a manifestation of Ermansol. Huh? And as for the withering, a tree. its emergence is related to a disease that's affecting it. Huh. Wait, is that? Mm hmm. Uh. So can? Oh no, Hapasia! Hapasia? That's his name? This Duskbird is Hapasia's designated courier for urgent news. You do remember her, don't you? She's the scholar you and Paimon were following when you first arrived in Sumeru. Oh! oh! Here. Take these. It's a meal I packed for Hypatia, as well as some other ingredients. I'm sure it'll come in handy. Hypatia should still be in the cave. Let's go inside and see how she's doing. Ooh. Ooh. One more? No? There you go. <laughs> What's that sound? Did she tore into an animal? Or she fell? Ah! There she is! It's Hype. Ah! What is that? A walking radish? What? <laughs> what is that? <gasps> huh? Hello! What? Hypatia, are you alright? Uh, uh, so hungry. 
Oh no. Need water. She looks famished. There's no way we can get her to eat in her current condition. Uh, let's try finding some water first. Sure. Huh? Wait. Why does it look super foggy outside all of a sudden? Uh, anyway, let's go look around. Ah. Ah. I don't remember I was huh? there before. Hot things out here end up looking like this. Yes. That's what I said. What happened? And where are we? Where are we? Grass. Oh my god, is this a nice grass? Genshin player actually touching grass today. Oh my god. Are you proud? Wow. This place is huge. Apparently so. I knew there's something off about that cave. Uh, let's think of a way to get over oh. there and have a closer look. Oh. Who knows? Maybe we'll find a lead of some kind. Oh. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Oh. Huh? This is scary, man. Oh. So apparently we are on the in the domain right now. Hello? Ah, do we need to fight? I don't want to fight this kitty. Come here. Wow, oh, this one looks like a Beyblade or something. <laughs> what is happening right here? Huh? Huh? Where am I? What? Hello? I, uh? A whole new world. Ah! Alright, uh, we are chipping again. Alright, we are arriving at the domain, I guess. That is going on here. Yes! <laughs> what is going on the there? Oh, hey, what's the matter? You don't look so good. I do look pretty. What you talking about, my man? Oh no. Oh no. Not this again. Huh? 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 Bro, I'm not ready for this. We are high for some reason. Oh, someone's there. Is that you again? Bonjour. Bonjour. No, you again? Come on. What you doing here? What's your business? <laughs> you needn't worry about such things. They don't concern you. Ah? Huh? Excuse me? Amber! What? No! I can't take him! At all! Look! Oh, never mind. And how is he so big and tall? Though you may have managed to avert countless crises before, your good fortune was bound to end sooner or later. I need Dane right now. Dainsley, where are you at? How weak and powerless you really are. No, I still must find my brother. Your brother. <laughs> oh wow, what's your problem, bro? Huh. His Highness has long since forsaken you. Your meager existence in his eyes is that of an annoying bug, only to be stepped upon. Ay yo, chill. What is wrong with you? you Who hurt you? Are utterly gone. Your journey is meaningless. But don't you fret now. Today will be your last. No die! What? What is your problem? I just arrived. Huh. Ah. Good morning. I'm not sure what it's called, to be honest. 
But I do know that they have some sort of deeper connection with the Dendro Archon. Probably. I know this because the first time I saw them was also the exact day my consciousness was able to form a connection oh, with Oh, Ascam. Ascam angle. <laughs> Even after I oh. opened my eyes and stopped meditating, my heart was still pounding and my mind was racing with all the knowledge that I had touched. And at that very moment, I suddenly <gasps> noticed a small no figure at the opening of the cave. In my curiosity, I began what to walk over to the creature. They must have already been they look like some living sort in the cave of Pokemon because they didn't seem to something. mind me approaching them. They just kept doing whatever they were up to. <laughs> it wasn't until I crouched down next to them that they suddenly realized that I could see them. Oh. Ah. And then? And then I had a dream. By the time I came to, they were nowhere to be seen. Okay. I was convinced they'd never show up again. But sure enough, I saw them nearby a few days later. And they weren't alone. I must admit, I am quite envious of your abilities. Even if it meant suffering from pounding headaches for the rest of my life, I'd consider it worthwhile so long as I could connect with Ermansoul at will. Whoa! You really serious I, about this whole I thing, came from you? another world, and somehow I'm connected <laughs> with every I single one after all. of creature in the vat. The what am I? Who am I? My main I? area of research the, is the stars, the thing, and they're connected the cabbages. to the fate of living beings. Sorry, not cabbage. But there's uh, still uh, so uh, much uh, we don't a know. A radish? Especially Probably a radish. the mysteries that lie in the starry skies. Many researchers in Sumeru have lost their minds while seeking to attune with Ermansoul during this stage. Sages have said that Ermansoul oh, contains the divine plant. knowledge, and touching the such plant. knowledge without the proper preparations oh, and abilities the plant will is only hungry. lead to one's mind caving in on itself. However, I've been feeling better <laughs> as of late. I don't get as scared it anymore knowing that I have a little neighbor living nearby. I believe that being able to see them is a sort of blessing from the Dendro Archon. <laughs> but what's strangest of all is that they're clearly an envoy of the God of Wisdom herself. And they have the curious power to make people dream. What's so strange about that? It doesn't sound so out of place for a divine being, does it? Well, it's strange because nearly nobody in Sumeru can ever dream. Really? Huh. Is that huh? true? That's weird. Yes. Well, to an extent. Only children can dream in Sumeru. Adults, however, Wait, really? never do. Hello. Hello. Yeah. They just turned their neck. Uh, Look at me. I what is that? What was that all about? That's rude. I assume you will be heading to Sumeru City, correct? Yes. That's right. We want to meet Lesser Lord Kusanali and ask her for advice. Um, do you have any idea on how we can find her? He's wow. from the Amorta Darshan and is a His at gathering information. His outfit looks fancy, though. Asking him might prove worthwhile. Also, when you Look, enter Sumeru City, you'll probably end up receiving something like this here. He looks like modern. Here. He looks from the future. I'm not sure if it will ever is come just me? for you, but maybe you can give it a try. Oh? What is it? It's called an Akasha Terminal. It's a tool produced by the Academia that utilizes the legacy of Greater Lord Ruka Devata. Some say that this very item is the basis of Sumeru's reputation as the City of Wisdom. Mm -hmm. Needless to say, this device and its usage fall under the Academia's expertise. So I'll leave it to them to show you how to use it. Great! Next up, Sumeru City! Uh, oh, but wait, before that... We need to say goodbye to Kolei. Ah, right. how is she Kalei. doing, by the way? to say to Kale before we leave. Is she doing better now? Yes, she's doing much better. After being confined to her bed all this time, I thought a little walk would do her some good. Last I saw her, she was taking the path towards the North Crossing. Kale! How you doing, Kale? Ah, I've been waiting for you two. Hello. I, uh... Well, uh... <sighs> Never mind. I guess I should just wish you two a safe and successful journey. That's how I say goodbye. Thanks for meeting <laughs> here just to see us off, Kale. We're headed to Sumeru City. And, uh... Well, uh... I'm sorry. I should have told you both about my condition when we first met. 
I just wanted you two to treat me as a normal friend. Don't worry. Not some girl that needs your sympathy. But I guess now I understand that the most important thing is for friends to be genuine with one another. Yes. There's no need I to agree. apologize, Kale. We should be thanking you for trusting us enough to be your friends and sharing your past with us. We're probably still gonna worry about your condition, but that's because we're friends and we care about you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That means a lot. Uh, before you leave, I have something for you. Uh huh. Oh? What is it? What is it? It's my recipe for pita pockets. Pita pockets. I told you that I'd give you a copy, remember? Yeah. My handwriting is a little uh messy. So <laughs> don't worry. Don't have. Thanks, Kale. Now we can eat those scrumptious little pitas whenever and wherever we like. I hope that whenever you eat them, you'll both remember your time here in Gandharvaville. Of course, we will. Well then, I, Trainee Forest Ranger Kale, bid you both farewell. Please visit Gandharvaville again. The rangers will always be ready to assist you here. Goodbye, Kale. See you next time. Goodbye, Kale. What is pizza pocket though?